Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Removal Sanity and today I am reviewing Grip Combat Racing on the Xbox One. It's developed by Cage Element Incorporated and published by Wired Production. First off, a big thank you to Wired Production for providing me this review key. So what is Grip Combat Racing? Well, it's a 360 degree environment racing game which pushes the boundaries of speed, control and driving skill to its limit. The game is set within a future where a violent street driving subculture has become hugely popular and has now become mainstream. With this new popularity has come a never ending thirst for high speed, more outrageous vehicles and an ever increasing immense danger. Grip includes a large selection of modes to choose from which can be played offline in split screen or in online multiplayer. The game consists of modes such as a classic race, ultimate race, points, elimination, time trial, arena, deathmatch to you and me, steal the cash, catch the flag, time bomb, speed demon and car core. Anyway, let's get into the gameplay. Right from the beginning, you can choose either all out racing or the game's single player gameplay. Either option will allow you to gain XP levels within the game's progression system. Harking back to the good old days, the system is designed to encourage you to play more as this is the only way you can unlock a plethora of paint jobs, ribbon tire customization, decals and more importantly new vehicles. No loot boxes or pay shortcuts here, it's all about the experience. Now the single player campaign comprises of 11 tiers, with each tier having a number of tournaments the player has to win to progress. This starts off with a simple racing and then continues to showcase off different modes, weapons and potential rivals. Completing the campaign is worth noting as there is something special unlocked once you do. Grip has approximately 14 different vehicles from 5 different manufacturers, with each of these having varying different stats for you to play with. All cars excel in their own unique way and can be a hindrance or a bonus depending on the particular track or mode you are racing. A good understanding of your car's stats is needed. For instance, people will jump onto the Tempest first as it has a very fast top speed, but won't appreciate that the car has temperamental handling and a very low grip. Any bumpy terrain or weapon hits will stop you in your tracks without some decent brake management and a good launch luck. Now besides varying stats, each vehicle comes with two standard abilities. Launch which is effectively a jump option and good for avoiding those pesky missiles. And Boost, the vehicle's own version of Nitro, which can be activated at any time. Depending on your position in a race, Boost will recharge faster the further back you are or slower the closest to pole position. This ensures that no matter how badly you mess up, you can always get back into the thick of the race. Now Grip has many different styles of track, each with a unique feeling. They have been designed with many different routes for you to explore and often have a combination of circuit like, roller coaster like, on and off road, and even completely ceiling based choices. Grip has about 10 very different racetracks from 5 different worlds in total, and each track has a normal and reverse version with different routes and sections available in each. The game's control system is fluid and very responsive, however please note that by default the steering sensitivity setting is set to the lowest in a bid to help new players get into power sliding. Uh, for me I had to ramp this up to get the most out of my type of gameplay. Now if you think outrageous tracks and vehicles aren't enough, the game also has randomised power ups and weapons for you to pick up. Any one of these can be a potential game changer if used correctly, and because of this you are limited to only ever being able to hold on to two items at any one time. This promotes an element of tactical racing and an awareness of your surrounding racer's capabilities. One aspect however that isn't very well explained is the charging of an item. Now when you have two items you can sacrifice one and supercharge the other 
by holding the appropriate bump bumper relating to the item you wish to charge. This then creates a super version of the item that you can use to cause a huge amount of disruption, not only to others, but if you're not careful, to yourself. Now I don't know about you, but there is something truly delightfully evil knowing that you can hoard a devastating item to use at just the right moment and push to victory. However, because other racers can do this too, Grip has some of the most tense and nerve-wracking racing from beginning to finish I have ever come across. Many a time, I have just pipped a fellow racer in the last 20 yards to win the race and sighed a huge relief. It's matches like that that the devs have created that keeps you coming back for more and more. The game is really, really enjoyable at its most tense, and the devs have known this and ramped it up to 11. So what about the graphics? Well, the developers could have easily decided to recreate the style of the game with nostalgia in mind. However, instead they have used modern lighting, shaders and other modern wristry to go for a more hyper-realistic look. At first glance, I originally thought the game was a quite a bit dark and being an owner of a 4K TV, I was a little more than disappointed. However, I soon realised that if you whack the brightness settings up to a full 150% and the rest up to 125%, you then do get the full visually impressive experience. The levels and vehicles are wildly different and graphically beautiful and the weapons provide some of the most visual treats. However, the speed you are going at may not that you appreciate that fully at first. Another great feature is the ability to customise your vehicles any way you want right from the beginning. The further you progress, the more options you unlock for you to mess around with. And this brings me to what I consider to be the biggest gripe of the game, the control system for customization. To change any aspect of the vehicle, you have to click on the appropriate tab before you can adjust any option. And another click to get back out. Now, whilst this seems a little picky, I have found myself more than once getting frustrated as I've often forgotten to click out and can't understand why it won't move to my next intended change. This really does need to be this convoluted and a more simple option can easily be implemented. One great little aspect is the game's loading screen, which has opted for a comic stylized picture, which really sells the game's intent and the looks the devs were after. Now, despite the chaos around you, the various different explosive effects and the general speed of the game, I have noticed no screen tearing or frame drops. One area I do believe the devs have missed out upon is a replay option. This would be a great option to have and one that I hope they patch in at a later date as this would allow you to see those amazing levels in all their glory. And this leads me on to sound. Now the music of Grip has truly been carefully chosen with a variety of drum and bass, techno and trance. This has been implemented superbly and really ramps up the races in all the right ways. Genial sounds such as the engine, environment and weapons are expertly realised and whilst they don't detract from your racing, they do help you determine where your rivals are. Overall, the sounds of the game are great to listen to, uh, either on a sound bar or a headset and only helps to reinforce the futuristic feel of the game. My recommendation though would be to use a headset as this does give you the best experience. So what is my verdict? Well, I rate games in order of avoid, on sale, great purchase and must own. My rating for grip combat racing is a must own. And this is because the game is truly fantastic to play and has plenty here for all types of racing fans. Whether you're a speed purist, car customizer, trigger happy joyrider or even a nostalgic retro gamer grip ticks all the boxes 
The game is currently priced on Xbox at around £35 or approximately $40 and it's also on Xbox's Games Pass. If there's one game I'd recommend besides the AAA game of your choice this Xmas, this would be it. May you rest in peace Roll Cage. The genre of the 360 degree environment racing has finally got a new headliner. Welcome Rick Combat Racing. May you spawn many more sequels. Well ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. I do hope you enjoyed this review and uh, if you do, maybe give it a like and a share. Uh, also, give me a sh message in the comment section. I do read them and I do like to hear what you think. Anyway, until next time, have a great time gaming. <laughs>